Trilogy Studios is home to some of the most advanced LED volume stages I've seen to date. You've got their car processing stage built with six rolling LED walls and five motorized ceiling sections. Then there's the commercial stage clocking in at 50 feet long and 20 feet high. But the crown jewel is their cinematic volume stage. It's a monster, 157 feet long, 23 feet tall, with 622 ceiling panels and a 26 by 13 foot rolling wall. And the best part, I didn't land this opportunity through a big studio deal or a high dollar client. I simply offered to shoot a behind the scenes video for free on an upcoming production they had scheduled. I just wanted a foot in the door and a chance to learn. Then two days before the shoot was set to begin, the whole thing got postponed. Trilogy hit me up and said, the set's still built, the backgrounds are loaded, and the stage is open. Want to come mess with the tech? That's the kind of opportunity you only dream about. My journey into virtual production started in 2018 at the ASC Masterclass in LA. This was right before The Mandalorian came out and flipped the industry upside down. Sam Nicholson, ASC, gave a full day demo at Airy Studios that really opened my eyes to the future of in-camera visual effects. Since then, I've been chasing down every opportunity I can to work with this tech. The Dallas-Fort Worth area is surprisingly rich in virtual production resources. There are several LED stages across the Metroplex, each catering to different scales of production and budgets. Whether you're working on a high-end feature or a tight turnaround commercial, there's a volume stage in this area that can fit the need. I've personally filmed at XR214 Studios, including a sci-fi project that relied heavily on the LED wall for world building. I've shot at Capernaum Studios, blending traditional sets with virtual environments. And I've done several projects at AMS Pictures, including a proof of concept for a feature film. Each one has its strengths and each taught me something different about the workflow. But stepping into Trilogy's cinematic stage, this feels like next level filmmaking. It wasn't without its challenges though. Lighting for natural outdoor scenes requires a delicate touch. Too much spill from the LED walls or poorly balanced fill light and the illusion breaks. You gotta find that sweet spot where everything feels seamless and it takes real intention. I was surprised how tight I could get to the wall without running into more issues. Even at 10 feet out, Everything held up beautifully. The only real limitation is the refresh rate. It's a few frames behind the tracking data, so quick handheld movements or fast pans can expose the edge of the virtual background. You gotta move with purpose. It's not a deal breaker, it just forces you to shoot smarter. At the end of the day, this test shoot was a game changer. The technology is powerful, but it's not magic. It still demands craft, planning, precision, but the benefits are unreal. Instant location swaps, built-in reflections, dynamic lighting, controlled conditions, and the ability to get cinematic results in camera without waiting on heavy post. Virtual production isn't going to replace traditional location work anytime soon, but it's given filmmakers a whole new set of tools. And that's where it gets exciting, because when you pair this technology with a solid creative vision and a dialed-in team, there's no limit to what you can create. This shoot was also a reminder, sometimes the best opportunities come from just showing up, offering value, and saying yes when the door cracks open. And when it does, just walk through it like you own the place.